Welcome back to Morning Joe. A new report from a nonpartisan political organization is shedding light on some of the causes of today's worsening political polarization. According to Unite America, only 7% of voters across the country will be responsible for electing 87% of House members this cycle. In total, there are 380 House races considered safe for either party in those districts' primaries. However, there were only 18 million voters cast out of 260 million voting age adults. Joining us now, the executive director of Unite America, Nick Troiano. Nick, thanks so much for being here. Uh, let's start with this. How did we get here? Well, Jonathan, if I told you about a country where a month out from the elections, the majority of legislative seats would have been decided before most voters even cast a ballot, you wouldn't think I'm talking about the United States of America. But here we are. And how we got here is because of the structure of our political system. You know, most of our legislative seats for Congress and state legislature are safe for one party or the other, which means that low turnout party primaries determine most of those outcomes. And that's how you get 7% of Americans electing 87% of our Congress. And so when voters are frustrated and they look at Congress and say, why aren't they representing a majority of us when 60, 70, 80% can agree on solutions to the debt, on immigration, on climate? This is the problem. This is the primary problem in our politics. And the good news is that it's fixable. So we got so much we could do here. I could go on way too long about this because I do think safe seats are really a huge part of our problem because there is absolutely no political value in coming to the middle when you're in a safe seat. That's what people don't realize. When you're from a state where either a Republican or Democrat can get elected, there's great value in finding common ground because you've got to have some of the other party to get elected. Right. So you've got to find that middle, you've got to get consensus, not if you're in a safe place. So uh, I want you to talk about the new primary election process that might help, which is what's happened in a number of states where you don't run on a partisan basis in the primary. You just, just everybody's in one primary. That's part of it. But the other big part of it is gerrymandering in the House. I mean, they have drawn, allowing Congress people to drive their own, draw their own seats is really part of a huge part of the problem because they just want safe. They don't want ever to have to worry about anything other than a primary. Right. Well, the solution to this problem in our view is to abolish party primaries. They were invented a century ago with good intention. But the consequences of today means that most elected officials fear getting primaried. So what we're advocating for is what Alaska did in 2022 for the first time, which is to replace both parties' primaries with a single open all-candidate primary and advance the top four finishers to the general election where whoever wins the majority gets elected. In fact, we're releasing a new documentary today called Majority Rules. You can see this at majorityrulesfilm.com that chronicles the first use of this election system. And what it shows is that it incentivizes candidates to represent a true majority of voters. Candidates that once only knocked on the doors of Democrats and Republicans are now knocking on everyone's door. And that's what democracy really should be about. And we also noticed that in Alaska, when Sarah Palin was running against Democrats who had worked together in Alaska before, they were polite to each other uh, because it was this sort of approach that using sort of a scorched earth tactic didn't work. I want to. I want to also talk about if there are any uh, people here that are going. Oh well, of course this is this is some left wing lib idea, and and we don't want th th this to happen. I just want to say that two people who would be big advocates for this right now, former. Well, they may not publicly, but f it would it would have made former Speaker Newt Gingrich's life a lot easier, and hearing him talk about what Mike Johnson is going through. As Gingrich said last week, it's the people that get reelected with 85% of the vote that are setting the house on fire politically, that are saying, no, we're not going to support anything. We're gonna say the most outrageous things in the world. We're going to say the government creates uh, hurricanes. We're going to talk about Jewish space lasers because we're never going to lose in our districts and we'll raise millions and millions of dollars from crackpots across the United States who believe that they're Jewish space lasers. And that they, so, so this, isn't, this really isn't even a partisan issue. 
This is something that leaders in both parties would like. Absolutely. I mean, for 40% of Congress, not only don't they have competition in the general election, they didn't have a primary opponent this year, which means there's no accountability. And with no accountability, we're not going to be able to expect any really results from Congress. And like I said, we can fix this. There are six states with initiatives on the ballot this November for open primaries. There are red states, blue states, and purple states. States like Idaho, where 2,000 volunteers gathered over 100,000 signatures to get this on the ballot. You have former Republican governors if that state supporting this, former Democrats elsewhere. The current parties are opposed, but the people support it. We want a vote that truly matters in our elections. All right, Executive Director of Unite America, Nick Troiano, thank you so much for coming on the show this morning.